Hey guys, today we're going to talk about uh, running Windows in VirtualBox in seamless mode on Ubuntu. So first thing we need to do is go ahead and install uh, VirtualBox, and I'm using the command line. Uh, you can sudo apt-get install VirtualBox. Let's go ahead and let that go along its way. Or you can use the Software Center, of course, and uh, select and pick your app. You search up here for VirtualBox. There you go, run virtual systems on a single host computer. Either way, get your VirtualBox installed. Uh, I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be right back when that's done installing. Okay, now we have VirtualBox installed. Let's go ahead and open it. We can launch VirtualBox and create a new machine. Uh, what we're going to do is click uh, New here. It'll walk you through a wizard for creating your new machine. We're going to try Windows here. We can decide how much memory we want to give the VM. Let's give it a gig of RAM. Create a new hard disk. Dynamically allocated. This means the disk will adjust. It'll have up to 25 gigs. I won't use all that, it'll just use what's needed and increase dynamically as we use more. Let's go ahead and create that. Create our virtual machine. Now we need a CD. So let's click on storage here. We can use the host drive for our CD or we can select an image. In this case, I created a uh, ISO file of my Windows 7 disk, so I'm going to use that instead of using the host drive. Let's click OK, and let's start our machine. And you'll see the machine boot, uh, just like a normal computer would boot here. It's starting the Windows 7 uh, ISO. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go through the Windows install. I'll pause the video here and uh, bring it back when Windows is up and running on the virtual machine. All right, Windows is installed. Uh, now the only thing left to do is we have to install uh, guest additions on our virtual machine. So what we're going to do is up here on the host, we're going to click Devices install guest editions and let me pause while I download the error is that I don't have the ISO so we can sudo apt get install virtualbox guest editions Oops. ISO Let's go ahead and let that finish. And I'll pause it here due to my slow internet at this time and be right back with you guys. Alright, now that we have that uh, package I forgot, let's see if we can continue. Uh, the package was virtualbox guest additions iso. And what that does is it provides us with a image of a CD for our guests to install a bunch of uh, added features. So if we go to Devices, Install Guest Editions, we'll see that the CD is mounted uh, in the guest here, just like it was put in the machine locally. And we're going to run VirtualBox Guest Editions and go ahead and install this. Just walk through the wizard here. And we can trust the software. Uh, now, 
running in seamless mode like this is a great way for new users to Linux to still have access to their Windows side uh, if they do need uh, applications and uh, things like that that are still in Windows they can do this uh, that way it avoids the need for dual booting and uh, things of that nature Now what I'll do is I guess I'll pause again here while this finishes up. Uh, my laptop's kind of slow, I apologize. And we'll be right back when this is finished. Alright, once uh, Guest Edition's uh, finished installing, it asked if we wanted to reboot. We can go ahead and do that. Uh, now that our uh, virtual machine is back up and running, uh, what we want to do is we can click... Uh, view and switch to seamless mode or we can do use the keyboard shortcut right here which is uh, the host key plus L which by default I believe the host key is right control but we're gonna go ahead and click that it's gonna warn us that it's switching to switch back we need to use that key combination and we'll see we get our uh, windows bar right here at the bottom of our desktop and we can go ahead and uh, launch uh, Windows applications and they behave like right alongside uh, the Linux applications on our desktop. Uh, like I said, this is great for new users to Linux, uh, allows them access to their Windows apps still, uh, those things that they're not willing to switch over yet. Um, but that's the video. Uh, if you guys have any tips or comments, go ahead and post them below. Uh, if you want to see any future videos, uh, please go ahead and post and subscribe and like this video.